Introducing the revolutionary Upriser Ducati Panigale V4S RC Stunt Bike. Inside the package, you'll find one upriser, one USB charging cable, one remote control, one display stand, and one instruction sheet. With a USB rechargeable two-cell LiPo battery, the upriser has an impressive drive time of 45 minutes to one hour. To charge the upriser, turn the power switch to the off position. This will reveal the charge port. Now, plug the charging cable into the upriser and a computer or wall port. While charging, the headlights will flash. Once fully charged, the lights will turn off. Approximate charging time is 60 to 70 minutes. When the battery gets low, the headlights will flash. Before recharging your upriser, let the battery cool for 10 to 15 minutes before starting the charging sequence. The battery pack is also replaceable. Simply unscrew the door beneath the tail and replace with a compatible battery. The upriser requires two AAA batteries to power the controller. Press down the release button using a pen and slide down the battery cover to install the batteries. Now, turn on the upriser and balance it. To do this, make sure it's on a flat, smooth surface. Gently place one finger on the fender or the rider's head and keep it there while the upriser auto-stabilizes. You'll feel the back wheel engage. Once you do, remove your finger. The upriser may shift slightly as it calibrates its balance. Once the upriser is auto-balanced, turn on the controller. When it's connected to the bike, the headlights will flash and then remain on. The upriser's intuitive driving mechanics make it easy to control and perform impressive stunts. Keep in mind, the upriser moves at fast speeds and should only be used in a large outdoor area. To get the most out of your upriser, use the terrain switch on the controller to adjust to the road conditions. Use smooth mode for tile, hardwood, or laminate. And use rough for low pile carpet, concrete, and asphalt. To drive your upriser, push the left throttle up to accelerate and pull down to reverse or brake. Use the right control lever to steer the upriser to the left or right. While steering to the left or right, press and hold the drift button at the top right of the controller to perform a drift. Be careful though, holding the drift button too long can make the upriser spin out. Part of the intuitive driving mechanics of the upriser allow the bike to maintain speed during wide turns and circles, so there's no need to accelerate during turns. The revolutionary technology of the upriser enables the bike to perform impressive wheelies on demand. The key to performing a wheelie is to start from a standstill position. Make sure the bike is stationary, upright, and auto-balancing. Next, press and release the wheelie button to perform a standing wheelie. Once you press the button, wait three seconds. In full wheelie mode, use the throttle to accelerate, drive in reverse, or brake. You can even steer in wheelie mode by using the directional stick. Press the wheelie button again to return to regular driving mode. Sometimes, ground conditions can stop the upriser from pulling a wheelie. Make sure there is no dust or debris under the rear tire. Wait three seconds and click the wheelie button again. Anytime the upriser receives a communication to perform a wheelie, the headlights will flash. If the batteries are low, the upriser won't perform a wheelie, so make sure you have adequate battery life. The upriser can also perform burnouts. To do a burnout, use the directional control stick and turn to the left or right while the upriser is stationary. The patented OmniWheel technology will take effect and launch the upriser into a burnout. To increase the speed of the burnout, simply use the throttle and accelerate. Just like its lifelike counterpart, the upriser requires regular maintenance to ride in peak performance. The cutting edge OmniWheel technology will occasionally need dirt or debris removed from the rear tire. Use a dry cloth and rotate the wheel manually to clean the full tire. You can also remove the rider to wipe away any collected dust. Be sure to put the rider back on. The upriser balances best with the rider in the driver's seat. When not in use, show off the upriser using the display stand. Insert the connecting display stand into the center of the rear tire to balance the bike. If the upriser falls over, turn the bike off, wait three seconds, and restart the bike on a smooth, flat surface. Wait for the headlights to flash, indicating the upriser is near its balancing point. If the connection is lost between the controller and the upriser, make sure the controller is within 125 feet of the bike. If it's within range, restart both the controller and the bike. 
wait three seconds, and try again. For more information about your Upriser, visit upriserrc.com.